Hey guys, this is Slappy Man 50 and welcome to my channel. Today's video I'm going to try to help you guys out that I've had the problem with the slow AMD FX 8350. When I first bought this and I put in my build, it wasn't running like I was supposed to run. I wasn't getting the frames I was supposed to be getting when I benchmarked it on a couple of games. Yeah, it was running fast when it was just, you know, just running simple Windows applications because they don't take too much resources to use. But um, I did a little bit of snooping around on the internet. I did a couple of tweaks and stuff with my system. And these are the things that actually helped me out. The first thing I did was update my BIOS. I have an MSI motherboard, so I use MSI Live Update 6. And all I did was press scan. I found out all the drivers that I needed to and uh, update and install and stuff like that. And I pressed download and it downloaded it all. And then after that, I just rebooted my computer and then everything was up to date. The second thing you could do was you could use your USB and flash it, but that, that has a lot more steps to it for each you know individual motherboard and each individual company. The second thing I had to do was unpark my cores. What ba what your park cores basically mean is that it's not going anywhere. It's not going to move above the frequencies. It's not going to go below. It's just going to stay exactly where it is. It's not really going to when you need when you need those cores to go 100%. It's not going to go 100%, and that's ridiculous if you ask me you can act you're gonna need those cores to go above and beyond and towards the end of the video I'll actually tell you how to check I'll actually show you how to see if your cores are parked or not and the third thing I had to do was I had to turn off all my CPU control and protection things like I had to change the frequency I had to turn off smart protection I had to make sure all my cores are enabled and stuff like that and recently I actually just built my build and I think it's pretty amazing. I have the AMD FX8350 processor. I got the MSI 970 gaming board. You know, it gets the job done. I got uh, G-Skill Rip Draws 8 gigabytes of RAM. 8 gig is pretty much seems the standard nowadays. I got the Samsung 840 Evo 120 gigabyte SSD. Makes all my applications snappy just like that. I got the Western Digital Caviar Blue. I hold all my games, movies, all that, you know, all those big files on there. My graphics card. I got a Sapphire R9 290 Tri-X, pretty much eat everything I throw at it, 1080p, which is amazing. My case is a NZXT Phantom White, great case, great for cooling, great big just for uh, if I need upgradability, if I need to add things to it. And to top it off like with my power supply, I got a EVGA Supernova 650 watt, 80 plus gold power supply. You know when you have a nice build, you have to have a nice power supply just so it doesn't fry anything and it runs at a good percentage. I'll actually leave a link below for the MSI Live Update 6, you know, so you can update your motherboard and stuff like that. And for a video to show you how to un actually unpark your cores. I'll just show you how to check and see if your cores are parked, but the link below will show actually show you how to unpark them. Video, I'll show you guys how to check and see if your cores are parked or not. First thing you want to do is press Control Alt Delete, and then go to Task Manager. It doesn't show up. I don't know why, but um, then you go on, click on Performance. Make sure you click on your CPU. Open Resource Monitor, and then give it a second, and then all your cores pop up on the side, like right over here. It actually starts on. It'll say zero, but that's your first core. It's your second core. It's your third core. Is your fourth one and right where I'm putting my mouse right here if it's parked it'll say parked so you just have to watch out and make sure that it's um not parked and uh, you can click on the link in description and it'll show you how to unpark your course your, your bios you can go on to the overclock settings or maybe your settings I'm not sure which motherboard you have and then I put my CPU ratio on 20 I'm, the smart protection is off core control is on manual to make, make sure all your cores are enabled and then you can see up here when it's at 20 it's at um, 4 gigahertz but when you put it on like 22 it goes up to 4.4 gigahertz and it just makes it go faster and faster basically your overclock settings alright guys I hope these things really helped you out if it did, if it didn't, please leave a comment below. All the feedback is very important. It's my first video. I'm really hoping you guys just leave, um, 
just give me some great feedback if I said anything wrong or maybe something else helps or you need any questions or something just leave me a comment below I'm definitely gonna check out all the comments I'm definitely gonna reply to all of them it's my first video and uh, thank you guys for checking me on my channel out